Hey, what's up everybody? Back again. It's Tony, the Prepared Patriarch. Um, Generation 7 cat tourniquets are, as several of you have mentioned in my previous video, the go-to tourniquet. The creme de la creme. The best of the best. If you want a tourniquet, a real tourniquet, and, if you, and you don't have one, get a North American Rescue cat tourniquet. Gen 7 cat tourniquet. Uh, to be exact. I have a few, okay? I have shown them in previous videos. Now the neighbor's bone is long. Excuse me, one second. Okay. This is New Jersey, baby. <laughs> um, okay, I've got one in my bear fact that I have on my, uh, I call it my fighting belt. I got one on my fighting belt and my bear tourniquet, uh, bear fact. I don't want to take it apart right now. Um, I've got these North American Rescue IPOX, which stands for Individual Patrol Officers Kit. I've got a, I think I got like five of these. I've got one in the master bedroom, one in the kitchen, one at the business, and one in my and my wife's car. That's five. Um, I have some quick clot. I keep it the one in the kitchen in case of a knife accident. Um, so we got those. Uh, and then I have one on my, this is actually take two. So I took it out already, but I, I keep one on my, uh, on my Minuteman bag slash bump in the night bag right here in this tourniquet holder. So since this is take two, I already, I have it out. This is it. There are uh, lots of ways to stage this. And for those of you that don't know um, about these tourniquets or, or don't have any experience, the staging means uh, how you fold it up and how you keep it uh, ready to be deployed when you need it. Uh, there are uh, different methods. People prefer different uh, staging uh, techniques. Um, so, the... And it, like, I guess an inexperienced person would just kind of have it kind of closed and have the Velcro all around. And so what I've seen on a few videos from combat medics, uh, fire, EMS guys, uh, law enforcement guys, everybody's different to be honest with you, but you keep as little, the red tab, you put it through and then you just maybe like an inch and a half something like that, and then you stick it on the Velcro so you have as much real estate as, as for the thickest tree trunks um, possible. You don't want to be fiddling with it. So in a, a situation, imagine there's somebody's been shot or stabbed or uh, there's, you need a tourniquet. So your fine motor, motor skills are almost non-existent unless this is something you've done uh, many many hundred times over and over again and you're used to it you can control your adrenaline i know me um i have no law enforcement background or anything but i've been in a few let's say possible life risk situations we've been in a few tussles and um you know people pull things and anyway i get the the sh I get short of breath and your hand shakes a little bit. So I've had, I've experienced the handshaking thing in very highly, uh, and you know what I'm trying to explain. Anyway, I might have to do a take three. So this is pretty, you put it through your, through your leg or your arm or wherever you need it. Then you would take that red tab and then you would close it. Okay. Get it real tight. Then you have this windlass right here. It's called a windlass. And you turn it, you turn it, you give it as many turns as you need until it's not turning anymore. And your patient or you screams in pain. That's when you know it's, well, no, no, no. Don't take, that's not advice. That's not advice. I guess you would know when the bleeding stops. Okay, that's when you can stop turning it. And then there are, there's this little, See, it just goes right in here, 
you tuck it, you tuck it in there. And then once it's in there, you put this over it, this Velcro over it, and then you can with a Sharpie. You always see uh, in med kits, Sharpies come with them. And if you wondered why, it's so you can write the time. That's what I'm guessing anyway. It's not to sign the cast. Um, you write the time and that's it. That is a regular guy from Jersey's interpretation of how to use a cat tourniquet. Not a doctor. Not a medic, not a soldier. Um, I'm just a, a patriarch, a father of three and a husband that wants to be as prepared as possible. And I'm doing my best. Uh, I'm learning every day. I'm watching other people that are trained, that are experienced. This is not a channel to teach. This is a channel to share, to share what I learn and possibly uh, learn I have learned a lot from the comment section so for people that comment um, thank you anybody that has any kind of constructive criticism anybody that has suggestions thank you because uh, over the past since August is when my first video I, I started my YouTube channel since August I have learned a lot from the comment section from you uh, amazing amazing people out there in YouTube land um, so oh you know what I don't know if I showed this but I also have I carry this on my I strap this onto my ankle every morning I put the iron on my hip I put the IFAC on my ankle it's a uh, warrior poet society ankle IFAC um, it comes with a generation 7 cat tourniquet this is a nasal pharyngeal airway. This is a four inch emergency trauma dressing. These are nitrile gloves right here. These are North American uh, trauma shears. It did not come with these compact hyphen chest seals. I bought these separately um, and they kind of fit, they kind of don't. I kind of had to uh, bend the, the packaging a little bit. The seals themselves, I can feel inside, are not compromised. They are still flat, but I just had to fold in the, uh, the wrapper a little bit on the sides to get it in there. So that's that. I carry this with me every day. Got my tourniquet, got the whole shebang. Um, and that's it. I think I have, yeah, the, I, the IPOX, the Bearfac, the bump of the night bag and the ankle eye fact that's where I have all my my uh, cat tourniquets all right guys that's it I appreciate you watching uh, I appreciate you subscribe if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe I would appreciate it very much thank you for your comments thank you for being here um, God bless you all and hopefully we will never have to use these tourniquets I hope none of you have to use them I hope I never have to use them um, but in case we do, we should be as prepared as possible with, with gear and knowledge. And by sharing knowledge, we can gain more knowledge. So I appreciate all the comments and all the, uh, all the shared knowledge. God bless you all. I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy your day.